The uh, data import wizard is an interesting feature within Salesforce, and the trailhead actually shows it two different ways. This is in the data management uh, import export. Uh, you could also find it in the data management import data. Uh, so I I'm just going to take you through this one real quick. Um, first thing it talks about here, uh, besides launching, and you can kind of figure out how to get that to work, but um, the first thing I wanted to show you what a CSV file, and this is a comma separated value file. I'm just using OpenOffice, but it would open as, um, as CSV within Microsoft Excel as well. And what you're seeing here is uh, it's a comma separated, uh, lots of other features we could talk about, um, but these are the fields that it's, it's looking to pull in. So it's just first name, last name, cell, email, salutation, and title. Um, and this also has uh, 21 rows, which is interesting. Uh, I'll show you that why that's in a second. But let's say, God, fine, okay, we're gonna um, we're gonna import that, and you can we can show how that works out. But needless to say, once you once you've gotten that in, um, what you want to be able to then do is. Uh, it talks about uh, kind of launching the system. So we're gonna, we're gonna launch it. And then uh, what you're gonna do is you're gonna navigate to uh, the data import wizard. And certainly you can always enter it here as a, as a field search, but if you can know how to then to navigate, you can find out there's other things like big objects isn't gonna show up or kind of other uh, fields that, that didn't include the word data. Um, so know that you can use Quick Find, but I'd always recommend you then uh, navigate to it so you can learn it. Um, so once we've done that, we're going to launch the data import wizard. Uh, this is the screen that comes up. Um, when it comes up, though, it's a little bit ambiguous. You're not quite sure what you need to be doing here. Uh, what you'll find is, is if you roll down, there's good introductory text. Uh, and then what it does is it brings you down here to this step, which is to launch the wizard. So this is really the objective here. And so you want to have prepared the data for import, which is the CSV file we've downloaded. Um, and so it's going to take you through it. So we're going to click launch. Uh, and what that does is to bring up this screen, which says the first thing you want to do is to choose data. And you, um, the default is standard objects. But if we look at the custom objects, and again, this is a dev org, so um, there's other objects that you would have built uh, through Trailhead, that kind of thing. Um, but let's say we're going to start with the standard objects. So we're going to click Accounts and Contacts. Uh, we can do Add New, or we could just add Existing. Uh, let me close this again. Um, if we go, if we, you could also uh, update existing records, or you could add new and update, which is the upsert version. But we're going to just do Add New for now. Um, it talks about it in the uh, in the instructions. What it says is um, to use name for matching contact records. And so what we're going to do is to uh, match on name. Uh, doesn't talk about account, but account you could also there could be matching around name and site. Uh, anyway, we're going to work with this. Uh, other check boxes would be around triggering workflows and assigning contacts to campaigns. Again, these are advanced features you can learn about when you need to. Uh, but then you want to bring up your CSV. So you can either drag it, or if you click here, what that allows you to do is to browse for it. And you can say, okay, so we're actually going there. So what I'm going to do is to, to open it here. Um, and what you'll find is, is that it then shows up right here. So that tells you that it's been done. And then it's, uh, it's values separated by commas or tabs. We saw that it was comma looking at the file. Uh, we can then click next. Uh, and what that does is to bring up this screen, which says, okay, now you want to be editing your field mapping. So you're going to see there's three options here you can play with. Uh, by clicking mapping, you're going to then uh, get and what you're seeing here is these are the account records to start with, uh, the account object Field, name, field names. If you scroll through those, you actually get then to the contacts. And then what you're also seeing is these aren't in alphabetical order. They're more in kind of a, a kind of a field order. Um, and so the, the name is, is right up front. So we're going to click, uh, you know, first name uh, and last name. And then the other one we're going to get is uh, mobile. And so we're going to select those as we need to. 
um, but let's just do first name just so I show you a starting one um, and then I'm going to say map now the only other thing to know is is for example if what you've got is is uh, you're not seeing the stuff down below you really can't even navigate to it uh, what you have to do is to uh, reduce the size of your screen I'm holding down control and touching minus or changing the scale so I can get to a map field here and say great so I can map it um, and I'm just going to take it back up so we know what what it looks like there uh, and make it full screen again um, but so just know that if you if you didn't see it that's what's going on it allows you now you can map you can also see the examples of what information they're actually pulling across um, so we have that all done we can then click import and what you're going to see is this is the number of fields they're pulling across and these are the unmapped fields so we know we're okay there but we're going to say start the import it's going to say okay great you're done so click okay uh, and then I'm going to click OK. <laughs> it's going to tell me that, uh, um, and I can see I, I'm still in Lightning. Uh, it's told me that it's done this, uh, that it's brought through 20 records. Um, and then what I'm able to do is to actually go back to this and say, OK, let me uh, check my challenge and see if it worked. And what it does then is to come back and tell me that everything is wonderful let me see here's the message so we know it all worked uh, thanks and now we're going to talk about how to export data